Uh, being pretty harsh on the Cavs for their performance against Miami on Sunday, so it would be a disservice if we didn't at least acknowledge the fact that they beat Charlotte last night by 20 points. Marcus Morris uh, was kicked out of the game for a flagrant two foul, led a little spark, led, I don't want to call it a comeback, but led a <coughs> spirit. Don't call it a comeback. But what'd you make of the game last night? How badly did the Cavs? Um, it was about to be bad. I, I, I got to tell it. you, I didn't even know for sure that Charlotte was still in the NBA. Where'd you think they went? I thought maybe they left town <laughs> and went to, I don't know. Uh, who cares? Charlotte's the worst team, <laughs> or one of the worst teams in the NBA. They're not barely an NBA well, team. you'd care if they lost that game. <laughs> yeah, you would have. No, I wouldn't because there's yes, 10 games left and I want the playoffs. I, I'm back to where I was at the beginning of the year. Nothing the Cavs do the rest of the season matters. <laughs> if Donovan Mitchell is healthy for the playoffs, then maybe they have a chance to do something. They have no shot of beating the Celtics in the playoffs. They have no shot of beating the Bucks in the playoffs. And they have no shot of beating the Knicks in the playoffs. They could beat any other team, right? It, well, probably can't beat Philly either. And the other teams Miami. they could beat in the first round, who can't they beat Miami? Can they beat Miami? They could beat Orlando or Indiana, right? <laughs> that's if, if that's basically what we're down to. Yes. That's it. We got this guy who looks like an honor, and, and, that's, and that's that. I mean, they played Charlotte. Who gives a crap? Has Charlotte ever <laughs> – the last time Charlotte was relevant, Larry Johnson was dressing his grandmama. I mean, that, that's the last time they were a relevant basketball team. This game has zero value, zero meaning. It's good that Evan Mobley's back. I did, did a decent job. You guys have take anything out of this? Does it matter in any way? What was Charlotte's name before they went to the Hornets? The Bob Bobcats. Bob. Bobcats. That, that was awful. awful. That was awful. They had Gerald Wallace over the there. Uniforms uh, were terrible. The colors were terrible. <laughs> the or yeah, like that orange. Oh, red and blue. And, oh, God. It's bad. <laughs> the cat. Listen, the Cavs game was. It, it started off bad. I tell you that it wasn't. It did, it was not going great out the gate. My boy DG still wasn't looking great, and I don't understand. Now you finished with a double double. I'm pretty sure you had ten assists. It was nice to see Allen still doing his thing. I think he had 17 and 13, so that's great. You know, as critical as I am of Mobley being in the starting lineup, I think he has 17 and seven, and he's becoming more efficient. I think he was eight of 12. So that's actually really good. It went eight assists. So that, you know, they swinging the ball around. I think but, that's a typo. I'll be honest, that's a typo. Oh, uh, so he got eight assists? No, he had 14. Uh, he had eight assists. He had 14, po uh, 17 points and eight assists. He had eight assists. Look that at is that. not a typo. Look at that. That's actually, that's nice. Now, nah, it's against Charlotte. You know, Charlotte so. has the worst <laughs> point differential in the entire league. Yeah, it's you know again. It, no, but listen, the good news is that y'all snapped the loser streak. And Marcus Moore is getting ejected, brought some, put some fighting, y'all, and y'all decided to come out there and play even harder. So that that's nice. But it's Charlotte. It shouldn't even been in that situation. Y'all need to hold yourself to a higher standard to where you don't need something like that to happen to get you fired up. But I get it. When you're going up against somebody as terrible as Charlotte, sometimes I've been in a situation where you're playing a lower tier of a team and it's like hard to find motivational inspiration to win that game. So thank God Marcus Morris did what he did. But you guys cannot play down to y'all competition. If y'all want to get to where y'all want to go, y'all need to go out there and start dominating now. It's not a switch that you could just flip and just turn it up right then and there. That's not the case. Y'all need to finish this season off strong. That's my take on the Cavs. Mm. March is a grind. We knew oh, it was going to be unbearable. The, no, I mean the schedule. You just mean the games. I mean the schedule. <laughs> the logistics of their schedule. Yeah. They got chewed up by it. I think we talked about on the show that we would know by the end of March what kind of team were they are. Well, we're getting the answer. They're getting, they're getting their asses beat. Yeah. Just by the travel in the, <coughs> the different city, different day type thing. The, ultimately, they got to get healthy. And they, they needed a win last night just to flush Miami. Worst True. performance of the year, just to yeah. get that out of them. It doesn't matter who's the worst team. It doesn't matter who it is. You got to go out there and win a game and just feel good about yourself again. Okay. But they got to get Donovan. They got to get Max back. And JB has got to figure out some sort of rotation. I mean, that's the most alarming part of all of this to me is we got nine games to go. I have no idea what JB <laughs> rotation is. <coughs> no idea. Like with most, most teams, especially a playoff team by this point in the season, you know at the six-minute mark, this dude's probably coming in the game. This guy's going out. Mm -hmm. You know the, the matchups that work best. You know what to expect. I have no idea what to expect. And Evan and Jarrett start together, but they don't really play together. They're, they're still right. patty-caking these guys and taking one off and putting one on. And 
Like nothing just fits. And they are out of time. And until Donovan gets back and Max gets back and they have a couple of games, like you want, you want to take that one or two games before the end of the season, especially <coughs> the last game, and rest everyone and get them off their feet and not have any silly injuries going into the playoffs. I don't know if they're going to have that luxury. I think they got to run through the tape on this just because they need to see what they've got and they need to try and figure out some semblance of a rotation. <laughs> and the fact that we don't have that is – unbelievable and it's not all jb's fault like they've had a ton of injuries you can't help that mm-hmm. but it's crazy that we're sitting here on march 26th and we don't know what the Cavs' rotation is they got 10 games left by the way 10, 10. games okay. if if the Cavs fall on their face in the playoffs again this year which i think they're expecting at this point. i mean right now they get indiana in the first round yeah. so that they, they should okay. be in indiana but, if, but they, if they do you think jb gets fired yes you think uh kobe gets fired possibly the Kobe thing, Kobe's going to be tied to Donovan. Right. And if Donovan, I, I'm, I keep trying to write a column. How do you go? What do you mean you keep trying? Because I want to write Donovan's best course of action is to sign an extension. But I can't write that the way that they're playing. Like, you just, <laughs> but I'm like dying to write. Listen, he's played the best basketball of his career these two years in Cleveland. Yeah. And this is the best spot for him. And this team gives him the best opportunity to win. But it's hard to write that when you see what happened in Miami. Like, how can you say that? He didn't play. But that's my point. Yeah. The supporting cast, this it's is their opportunity enough. to show him. They, he, and they're not his, doing Well, it. the majority of his supporting cast is hurt, too. Well, Darius is not back. hurt. Darius is out there. Allen's Jared's out there. out there. Max is not. Okay, but, like, he's... Max Who's getting is, a lot of money, Max by the way? Max just got here. He's not yeah. really a core piece. Oh, uh, here, paid let like me ask one. you this, Jason. Here we go with the Evan, core four. Evan, Darius, and Jared, and uh, Donovan right now are supposed to be the core. Let me ask you this. I know this is more of an off-season question, and it is a, a massive, massive if. But if Donovan Mitchell signed an extension, mm-hmm. if you were the Cavs this off-season, let's say this, this season just doesn't go well the rest of the way. And Donovan says, hey, I'm in. Yeah. He signs a long extension. Would you then trade in the offseason Darius, Evan, or both? And, you and JB. You, what do you think you're going to get from I, Darius? You probably – You're not getting anything from Darius. Well, you get something, but no, not, not – Not okay. really. You're, you're not going to – Not really. Coming off the season he's had, yeah. the highest contract in team history. Right. So, you are not getting – you All have right, got so to – Would you trade Darius. Mobley no. to change it up? No, I don't think so. I, I don't – I don't, because just because Donovan signs the extension doesn't mean you've got him for four years, five years, whatever it is. It means you got him for one extra year. Well, but that's it. What you about, get him for one extra well, year. Well, I got you. What about the coach situation? Well, the coach would be fired. Donovan doesn't want the coach anyway, right? I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it, JB's future is dependent on how this playoff run goes. Kobe's future is probably dependent on what Donovan does because yeah. if Donovan wants out, this trade is going to be like a wrecking ball. Yeah. They fi- they lose five years of control of their draft on a player who's not even going to be here for those years. Yeah, they'll they'll recoup something <laughs> for him, but it won't be a lot. And then you look at the the president who put it together and say, Yeah, why'd well, you do you? this? Well, if so, but, but we're, we're a long way from yeah, that point. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't. If everyone Donovan thinks I'm out, the Grim Reaper anyway. If Donovan wants out, that'll be. It won't be that bad because. LeBron is a free agent, and they could just draft oh, yeah. Bronny, so mm. you could have you could. LeBron and, and Bronny. And Jason, that is why Tyvis is not one of the hosts of the Ultimate Cat Show. <laughs> <laughs> we 